Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to go over some search options that are available in JDeveloper. And um, if you look at my channel, you can see that there's um, two videos. This one goes over how to create a custom search. And this one is creating a, oh, I'm sorry, this one is creating a search based on the view criteria that you create. And today we're going to go over why you would choose one over, one over the other. While the view criteria one is very quick and easy to do using the built-in functionality of the framework, um, it doesn't always work. And let me show you why. We've got a um, view object over here. We're just looking at a very basic model with the view object. And um, I've created a view object criteria that has two bind variables. And we'll take a look at this view, criteria, view object criteria. And basically, uh, we're going to change this to or. So we can search on either one of these. The first name that contains F or the last name contains L. And um, that's the extent of our um, view object criteria. And if you look at our data control, <clears throat> excuse me, it is down here at the bottom in the named criteria. And um, we'll go over to our JSF page. And we're just going to drag it on as a ADF query. Now you don't really see what's going to happen until you actually run this thing. Now the other thing that we do need to do is make sure that the query ID is um, set on the table because that will be affecting it and I believe it already is based on previous work yes there it is and for example if this were wrong it would turn red so that is one thing that you always want to keep an eye on okay so now we're going to run this okay and here is our page and king and search and we get data back now this is fine but what if you only want to have one search field or what if you have every single field in the table then you're going to get a very messy search interface so um, the other alternative is to create your own now I've already done the work but in this one I have I've created a view object impl by going over to the view object and I've actually already set these. Let me just remove them quickly um, so that we can actually see how to do it. You create it over here, and you just click on this, and it automatically creates it. I've copied and pasted this in. Okay. Now, what this one does is it just gets a quick and dirty record count. This one clears the view criteria and then returns the get record count, which is this. And then this one also does the same. If the search value is null, we want to clear it and show all the records. Otherwise, we're going to search first on the last name and then on the first name. We add it and we get the view execute. I'm sorry, apply, apply the view criteria and then execute it. And then we return the record count that's created. So this one. Uh, we're now going to expose on the client interface by class, pressing the pencil. And we might as well just get all of them, even though we may not use them all. It automatically creates the other required Java classes. And now we can refresh our um, data control. And you can see them now here. I'm going to go over to our search page. And we'll do an ADF parameter form. Since we're not only going to have an ADF input value, but we also want to have a button. Now, as you know, or if you may recall, you can also just drag it on this way. Uh, I think I just, here, single selection. I'm going to cancel that. That is the um, input. And then this, actually, we do want to have this, actually, because this is the output, which is the record count. We have that there. So now we can run this. OK, we've got our two interfaces here. As you know, we have this one where we have to enter one or the other. This one, we can either write in Steve 
or Teve and get Steven or STE and get a bunch of records. Or we can enter in the last name and get a bunch of records. Well, just two. But you see that this is a much cleaner interface and it um, requires less from the user. I don't know if I'd want to put the whole set of um, fields on this. Um, if it's for smaller sets of searches, maybe this is okay. And I have read in the documentation that, that setting a new criteria like this kind of on the fly does take more processing power because it's not part of the framework necessarily. So those are th things to consider. But when you consider the ease of searching, I find the set VC programmatically much more appealing than the employee search. Although this is a very nice uh, functionality to have, uh, I find this much more appealing. So I hope that was of help, and uh, I hope you have a good evening. Good night.